Today's game features a very interesting battle between minor pieces. I suppose you can call it two, uh, two knights, two bishops. So I have four puzzles for you today. With that in mind, I did make a mistake somewhere that could have turned the game the other way. Let's get started. This game features modern defense other variations which is my favorite opening except white does a lot of crazy things over here so that's a mistake by white because you can see the net is hanging I just put that one over here the queen is prematurely de developed over here I I'm thinking maybe the queen tries to make this one this mid right there, but without the knight, there's nothing much left to do. So right there, over here, and well, I, I'm have a piece, may as well trade queens. So hopefully, that will get me into a winning position, winning game basically. So here I try to get fancy, like threatening the pawn here and. Basically, try to make white's life miserable over here, for that, and it did not work. Now the evaluation is actually higher, but it, the time's not doing anything except go here maybe. So, so that's one. Uh, try to open up the center. This is this is what white did, and this is the first puzzle. What uh, is threatening to capture my knight? What should I do? And this is what I did. I put the knight to safety, as I said before. But I, I look at it again in here, and uh, what I should have done is have just put this one over here, because. <coughs> There's nothing to the knight except minus pieces, and I am trying to treat pieces, so so that was a mistake. So that's what I did right here, and keep going. Otherwise, normal development over here. You can tell that the bishop has been developed without moving. So. Well, I uh, keep trying to get this pawn over here. So let's go do this. Take one. And what has done this? So this is puzzle number two. White has just captured a pawn on G6. What should I do? The biggest danger here is basically pawn takes this one and then the rook is going to be stuck for uh, for that like forever. Now, if the rook takes pawn, I can just uh, take the rook, uh, pawn takes rook, and park my bishop over here, and that should be fine. That should be fine actually. I don't have problem with that. Bearing in mind. With that kind of possibilities, I decided to do this. Check and fork the king and the rook. So, uh, king move, takes rook, and this is a surprise. I did not expect this to happen again at all. But it is very dangerous. You can tell over here. <coughs> you can tell over here uh, by the twin bishops here, or pair bishop uh, as you call it, and with a lot of open spaces right here, lots of horsemen scissors. Th this is actually very dangerous position for black. I have to be very deliberate in my position. If I, if I try to put the king over here, that's relatively safe because I got over here, but uh, light colored bishop will be uh, stuck over here, so I have to basically 
with a lot of tempo over here. So this is actually not a comfortable position for black. I mean, black is still winning. I'm still winning, but it's something I have to be very careful of. So next move. And pretty much just secure this uh, file over here. And next move. I don't know why I did that. Though. I, I don't know why I did that because that's just a waste of tempo. This is a mistake right here. Uh, I'm not supposed to do that because what happened is there's a possibility over here. Check. And the king cannot move anywhere except this way. If the rook tries to stop off here, which is the only way to block, then bishop just take rook and that's it. I lose, I lose the whole rook. And I lose the whole rook. And I lose the whole rook either. Also, if I move here and, well, just just lose the whole rook, basically. So, so this is not a good idea. I'm still up a night, but that's, you know, that's not a good thing to do. So fortunately, this is what white did. So, so white missed this window of, of opportunity over here. And it only happened once. So I'm okay with that because I, I did this and like, oh no, like that's but. So I become very careful in my play after that. Uh, next move. And that's basically just threatening the rook, but white forgets to see why I moved the rook that in the first place. And yep, that that rooks. Uh, Bishop check over here, move the king over here. So this is a safe place, even though the king is in the center of the board as opposed to somewhere, castle somewhere over here or here. This is actually a safe place. So uh, the king is very safe right now. And the bishop come up. So pair of bishop over here. And we basically it basically says uh, like, oh, that's what is attacking, and yes, what is attacking. But I still have my pieces over here. I can basically trade the knight and rook for these two bishops, and I still have rook and two minor pieces. So I'm probably fine with that. It's not. This is no danger. Evaluation says made in eight. So yep, this is made in seven. Check move here and of course because you can tell the knight has this square uh, this one has a rook this one has a knight so so it's other uh, like this one has the square so there's only one square that the king can go for and that's this one so this is a force move And oh, uh, this is a puzzle number three over here. Uh, made in seven, so you're supposed to get you're supposed to get the mid over here. How to get the mid over here? And I'm sorry to say I missed it, but let's see if you can do this. All right, so I missed it, and like this, like made in seven, so I didn't know anything, so I didn't know about it. But it has something to do with this one. Check and do something with it. But I did not do that, did I? I, I did this one right here. Uh, knight checks, and king move, and then uh, pawn move, check, and then king move there. Uh, let's see, and then do a rook check over here, king move there, do a 
let's check here. King move there. And this is the last puzzle, puzzle number four. What should, <coughs> what should I do? Knowing that this is made in three. What should I do? And of course, what I should have done is go back here. Same thing, except there's a pawn over here you know, that takes that. So again, this is force move. And then check this one. And then you can see that all the squares are covered. So this is a force move right here. Yeah. And mate. so that's made in three. I did not see that. So, so. Anyway, I end up just taking the bishop over here. I'm going to win, but it's not a made in three, so I'm not too happy about it. Just take, take, take over here, closing up over here, and move there. Check. And check, and check, and check. and this is made in eighteen over here. Yeah. The rest of the game, I'm just gonna go very quickly. I mean, I did win the game, but it's boring. It's not something that's interesting at all. So let me just go through this really quick. I made a little inaccuracy over here. Instead of pushing the pawn over here, what I should have done is I should have just moved the bishop over here. So all these squares are covered and the king cannot go past this square over here. And then pawn move and mate. So, you know, that's what I should have done over here. So, so over here, over here. This is basically made in five, right? So one, two, three, four, five. So that's made in five. Little inaccuracy there. Anyway. <coughs> and I have to be careful about stalemate over here. If I do it like this, if I do it like this, that would be a stalemate because, you know, Cannot go anything. And mid. But the game could have been over so much sooner. So anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow.